huge shout outs to India, Trinidad and Tobago, Nepal, the US and everywhere else in the world. You might be wondering why I singled out some countries. It's because most of my viewers come from these countries, so I just wanted to say thanks. All angles in an acute triangle are less than 90 degrees. A right angle triangle has one 90 degree angle, and an obtuse triangle has one angle above 90 degrees. I just needed to get this out of the way before we got into it. These are the, the definitions. And this is a follow-up to what has turned out to be the most popular video on the channel. Uh, that video would be how to construct an equilateral scalene and isosceles triangle. I will link it below in the description. And uh, in this video, we will be looking at the aforementioned triangles. 90 degrees, the obtuse, and the right angle triangle. I also want to apologize for not posting a video last week. I actually made it, but the voiceover was totally messed up, and um, it was a really hectic week, and I just didn't find the time do the voiceover until now. So here I am redoing the voiceover for what should have been uploaded last week. So here we have our first triangle and let's see who can guess what triangle this is. Is it an acute triangle? Is it obtuse? Or is it a 90 degree triangle? On the left we have a 60 degree angle constructed. Um, that's another video that I will link below. It's one of the earlier videos how to construct and bisect angles. It's very very important. If you are into technical drawing, you must know how to construct these angles. So we have a 60 degree angle constructed on our left. And at the right side of the base of this triangle, it seems like we are doing a 90 degree angle. When I link the video, how to construct and bisect angles, uh, it walks you through the process or, or the procedure for constructing these angles. And um, once you do it a couple of times, it becomes really second nature. You no longer think about it. You just understand the construction and you get it done. All right, so, there you can see me just double checking the angle. It is indeed 60 degrees. And what do we have on this side? This should be a 90 degree angle over to our right. And I selected the wrong command. So how do you get the command to check your angles? You type in dim, D-I-M. Carlos just really give me a hard time right now. You type in DIM and you go to dim angular and dim angular will give you the different angles. Right? It's, it's, it will give you the dimension or the size of the angles. So you have a 60 degree angle and a 90 degree angle and what we're gonna do I'll, I'll just let you all know this first triangle is our acute triangle so I'm actually going to bisect the 90 degree angle so that I have a 45 degree. So, so far we have a 60 degree angle and I'm bisecting the 90. So we'll wind up with a 45 degree angle. 
and based on the definition we looked at an acute triangle has three angles under 90 degrees fun fact if you are unaware for any triangle the sum of all three angles must equal 180 degrees for any triangle the sum of all three angles must equal 180 degrees so you'll see here that we kind of fast forwarded to the end of the triangle this was an editing error I apologize but this is what the triangle looks like and these are the angles 75 degrees 60 degrees and 45 degrees so all three angles are less than 90 degrees and this is indeed an acute triangle the dimensions are a bit small so what I'm gonna do is just increase the size of the text a bit so to do that you type dim style I uh, select modify you go in and I just increase the height of the text and you can see it looks like here yeah, it's easier to read so this is our first triangle it's acute and we have all three angles now the acute triangle in this case is not an equilateral triangle because in an equilateral triangle all the sides and the angles are the same so in an equilateral triangle all three angles would be 60 degrees but in our acute angle that is not the case because as you can see we have 60 degrees 45 degrees and 75 degrees and if you do the math I'm sure that you'll find that they add up to 180 degrees. So we are on to our second triangle. We have extended the baseline. The vertical line that I drew was just to establish a starting point for the triangle. It's not necessary. And I will actually remove it later on. So once more we begin with a 60 degree angle and the reason for doing this is because the 60 degree angle is the easiest one to construct and um, yeah with the interest of time just do a 60 degree angle just just get it out of the way So the question is what ang what triangle am I going to draw here now? What triangle do you think this is? Right, if you said a right angle triangle, you would be correct. You would be correct. I'm about to construct the 90 degree angle and um, it's the same construction method I did for the first triangle and as I said earlier the more you do it do them the more you do the constructions the easier they become All right and I will link the video in the description below how to how to construct these angles. So I'm just gonna lengthen this line. Do these meet? Ah, no, no, they don't, unfortunately. It's not a triangle if they don't meet. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to use what I have previously called my favorite command in AutoCAD, the trim command to just remove the excess lines and neaten up the edge of the triangle. 
So this this triangle is basically completed, right? Basically, I'm gonna trim the base so that I can redraw it and change the layer. Good. So this is our triangle. It's a 90 degree triangle or, or a right angled triangle. And of course I will verify this by checking the angles. Right, 90 degrees, very well. degrees so what would the third angle be third angle is 30 degrees so you can see that again all, all the angles would add up to 180 degrees and um, a 90 degree triangle must have a 90 degree angle in it right just makes sense but um, the 30 degree angle and the 60 could have switched places or the other two angles could have been 45 degree angles or whatever, anything else. The other two angles could have been anything else. As long as that angle there is a 90 degree, then it's a right angle triangle. So we're onto our final triangle and using the process of elimination, we know that this is an obtuse triangle and an obtuse triangle is one where one of the angles is greater than 90 degrees so so far with our acute triangle and our right angle triangle we have not had any angles be greater than 90 degrees and that is about to change There I go again, beginning with a 60 degree angle. But I'm not gonna leave it like that. I'm actually going to bisect this angle and um, turn it into a 30 degree angle. Cause we want our, our obtuse triangle to look a bit funky. Right, so I just bisected the 60 degree angle and we should have two 30 degree angles here. Just gonna check really quickly on the bottom, 30 degrees, very well. So our next angle needs to be greater than 90 degrees. So I'm just going to choose a point and the point I choose is the end of the line, the end of the baseline. And how exactly will we construct this angle? So we have an arc as all angle constructions begin and we're just going to extend the baseline a bit so that it cuts the arc. And I'm gonna construct here what seems to be I'm gonna construct what seems to be a 60 degree angle. But if you look at it closely, you'll realize that it's 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 on the other side of where you would normally construct it. Right? And that's because we want this angle to be greater than 90 degrees. Alright, so in truth and in fact this angle is actually well the inside of this angle is actually 120 degrees and that's exactly what we are looking for i keep missing these lines i keep i keep 
crossing these lines. Right? They have to cross. <laughs> they just have to cross. So trim, neaten up the edge, wonderful. I'm gonna trim out the base at this time. Just to make it its just to make him his own line so that we can change the layer. There you go. Good, now as we have done with all our previous triangles, we're going to measure the angles to ensure that we are accurate. And there you have it, 120 degrees. And this is 30, so what do you think the next angle will be? Of course, it will be 30. Because all the internal angles of a triangle must add up to 180 degrees. I'm going to change the angles, change the layer to my dimension layer. And here you have it. Acute, right angle, and obtuse triangle. To remove any confusion, we're just gonna spend some time putting in the labels to ensure that it's correct. Okay, this text is way, way too small. So it's quite easy to change the text height before you write it. Acute. Right angle and obtuse triangle. And there you have it. There you have it. These are these are the three triangles. This is part two to the original types of triangles video. And <laughs> I'm trying to edit. I'm trying to edit the text, and then I'm changing my mind. That's what I'm doing right now, but yeah, I hope this video is very informative. I hope you learned something and if you did, please like and subscribe for more content.